your head Make a cup of coffee for your head Get you up and going out of bed That's so weird. I got my shot yesterday and now I can't sing in tune. So I must have gotten the ratio wrong because Jello's not supposed to be able to do this. Whoa. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah, I can't tell if it's yummy or gross. I accidentally scrambled it. This is the third video I'm filming this week. Hmm. I really want to get a video out today. We're going to work really hard to make this into a full video. That's decent. Yeah. Okay, now that everyone's gone, we're gonna get to the good part of the video. I wanted to make a video about my relationship with clutter, kind of talk about in what ways it helps my creativity and making things, and in what ways I think it might actually really be impeding and harming me. There's basically two main reasons as to why I remain a cluttered person, and I'll kind of explain why, and maybe that will help you to feel like it's okay to be you. The language around clutter on the internet is so negative. It's all about how you tackle or defeat clutter or get rid of clutter, but I'm just not convinced that messiness is bad. If anything, the anxiety that I felt around clutter or messiness has come from the perception of other people. What do other people think about my messiness? What do other people think about my chaotic lifestyle? Does it say to them that I'm lazy or unproductive or dirty? But, but that, but then like, but no, that's just not true. No, but no, that's just not, but that's just not true. Cause I'm able to think and do and create everything I want to in a space that's not tidy and straight edged. You know, like our actions and our worries and anxieties really do come from how other people judge us. And thanks to isolation, 
there was that barrier so that I could think for myself and decide what environment I want to foster for myself to grow in. I guess it's about compassion to yourself, understanding that whatever ideal someone else sets, you don't have to meet that to be happy. And even if you think about it like selflessly, you don't have to meet their requirement to be good to them. That's a big topic. I'm not going to unpack that today. I don't want to be too wake up sheeple about this, but I've come to realize that I don't care about messiness. And whatever negative emotions I have comes from what other people have told me about messiness and clutter. And here's why I don't think it's just because I'm lazy. It's because my taste and like my output in the world reflects what I'm comfortable with on the inside, right? Like, maybe I'm getting too, like, woo about it, but the same standard isn't set in a lot of things. Like, in art, clutter and, like, messiness is almost, like, worshipped in some areas. Like, your ability to, like, speak through chaos and your ability to distill an idea out of chaos is a beautiful thing in art, right? But when it comes to our living space or the tools we use, if our bed's not made, if our books aren't color-coded and organized by size, then, like, how does that... Why should that reflect the quality of a person? Right? I don't... I don't get it. I guess I understand how order is pleasing and satisfying. Like, there's a reason... Those notes in that sequence sound better than... But that sounded pretty good too, right? Like I don't know, like I don't know how to play guitar that well. So I this is a terrible this is a terrible analogy. Just get on with it. I just spent the last hour messaging people to see if anyone wanted to go out and adventure with me. But not a single body, but not a single body. I'm still good though, because this is what wellness looks like. I got this sign when I was helping a friend help a friend move stuff and dump stuff away. I really like it. Like, look. It's the colors, the type. Look at all these yummy foods. And the price. Look at the prices of that. Shout out to Grimm's. I don't know where that is. So I wake up here every morning. And then I just look across, and it's my side. Sorry, my vision's a little blurry in the morning.